Thank you, Penn. Thank you very much. Thank you, ESPN. I'm uh, honored and a little surprised by the attention you're giving to a receding writer. <laughs> and if I can take that thought a little farther, the editor and me would like to up there where it uh, said lifetime, just behind that, if you please, a paren that says, well, almost. <laughs> I want to express my thanks to some extraordinary editors I've had down the years. William Sean, Bob Gottlieb, Tina Brown, David Remnick, <clears throat> Gardner Bosford, and Ann Goldstein. Poor Tina never had a clue about baseball, but she really tried. <laughs> and David, who knew everything about baseball, surprised me when he came along. and. Uh, suggested after a while that he'd like to see some copy of mine within two weeks of the end of the World Series. <laughs> I was going to uh, give some fairly gloomy brief remarks about baseball here, but instead I think I'll tell you the story of a ball player, an old pitcher. Uh, you, some of you may remember a name, Roger Cray, who pitched for the Dodgers in the, in the 1950s, a pretty good pitcher, and then was one of the pitchers with the brand new terrible Mets. Uh, and the best pitcher they had, he lost 24 games the first year and lost 22 the next year, which wasn't easy to do. But uh, this is going to take a little bit more than 90 seconds, but baseball does drag on, as you know. <laughs> uh, but then he did something even more amazing. He became a baseball coach, and uh, a pitching coach. And one, in the off season once, he was working for the Tigers, uh, working with some teenagers, he discovered a new pitch. He, he learned that if you took the regular fork ball, which is thrown like this, and if you push it deeper, deeper into your fingers and throw it like a fastball, it becomes the split-fingered fastball, which uh, changed a lot, saved a lot of careers for old pitchers and uh, made the careers for some younger pitchers and made a pretty good career for Roger Craig. Um, he is a tall North Carolinian with a funny nose and very close together eyes and a great talker. And I spent a lot of time with him uh, learning the story about the split finger pitch. He later became a manager with the Padres and the Giants and I spent a lot of time with him uh, because he talked and talked and I wrote and wrote down. And uh, one year I went back to Scottsdale and he was there in, in left field and I walked out and we shook hands and there was another writer, writer out there who said to Craig, uh, Roger, meaning me, has a new book out this year, did you know that? Have you read it? And Craig said, read it? He said, hell, I wrote half of it. <laughs> and this is my way of uh, expressing my thanks to, to all the dozens and dozens of pitchers and catchers and hitters and sluggers and Hall of Famers and, and rookies and coaches and fans and owners, yes, owners, who filled up way more than half of my stuff and shared with me an obsession with this extremely beautiful and extremely difficult, extremely difficult game, and uh, which turned out most of the time to be about losing. It's been a great beat and a lovely ride. Thank you. Thank you.